Hello everyone. This video is an installation video for my three Tesla Powerwall 2s. The biggest question I've been asked since talking about this to everyone that'll listen is what are these for? For some reason I assume everyone had heard of the Tesla Powerwall, right? Well, apparently not. It's interesting. The Powerwalls are what actually got me looking at Tesla as a company. That was what I really wanted. If you've ever lost power in your house, you'll understand. We've actually lost power in our house three times in just the past six months. One time lasting for several hours during a work day. With my wife and I working from home, that was not a fun day. Now for some more information regarding Tesla Powerwalls. Uh, in April 2015, Tesla released this device for your house called a Powerwall. It was designed as a whole home backup for your house. If you've ever heard of an uninterruptible power supply or a UPS for your PC, this is the UPS for your entire house. First version wasn't perfect, but it gave everyone an idea of what could be. The Powerwall 2 was released a year later in October 2016 after Tesla acquired SolarCity and started working on solar panels. The Powerwall 2 is designed to store your solar energy, but you don't have to have solar panels to own a Powerwall. The Powerwall 2 can be configured to charge from your house power. Also, it can charge from my house power if I need because of a storm. It has Stormwatch built in. The main use of a Powerwall is backup solution for your house. However, Tesla has made improvements to the Powerwall 2 since its release. It can power your home after the sun goes down if you have solar. This will allow your house to continue to be powered by something other than your electrical grid, saving you electrical cost. You can set it to discharge to a certain point and save some power for emergency outages. The Powerwall 2 can also be an energy offset for those areas that have high electrical costs during peak periods. In those areas, when the electrical cost increases, the Powerwall can be configured to provide power during that time and then recharge after the peak period is over, thus allowing the homeowner to essentially move their energy costs to non-peak times. Pricing. The Powerwall 2 is larger and more expensive than the original Powerwall, but it can store more energy as a result. The Powerwall 2 costs on average $5,500 per unit. According to Tesla, an average size home will require at least two, but possibly three units. And these costs do not include the installation price. Installation can easily cost another $5,500. So you're looking at about $11,000 per unit or so. To put it in layman's terms, Musk said the new Powerwall can store enough electricity to power lights, plug sockets, and a fridge in a four bedroom house for an entire day. You can also set your Powerwall to three modes. There's backup only, where it stores power for when you need it, period. There's self-powered, which uh, provides power for your home after the sun sets. And then there's time-based control, which uses the Powerwall energy during the highest cost period of energy usage. So why did I buy three of them? On the order screen for the Tesla Powerwall 2, there's an interact calculator. It asks you how large your house is, from one bedroom up to six bedrooms and more, whether you have solar, whether you'd like to install or add solar, and whether you need one day of backup power. Once these selections have been made, the website will make a recommendation for the number of Powerwall 2s that would suit your home. After using the calculator, it determined that I needed at least three Powerwalls. I used this to determine how many to request on Energy Sage when getting quotes from our solar system. As I didn't purchase my Powerwalls from Tesla directly, I lumped it in with my solar install. For now, I'm waiting for the rain to stop and the sun to come out and charge my Powerwalls. Until they are charged, I can't say how long this is going to power my house or how long my house will last on them. At some point, I will definitely be testing this. The Tesla app monitors the entire energy system in my house, from solar power to the power walls and even what's coming off of my electrical meter. I'll make an app video later. Thank you all for listening to me ramble and hope I've provided some information on Tesla power walls. Thanks for listening.